December last year, former finance minister Uhuru Kenyatta was emphatic that the economy is likely to expand by 5.7% in 2012 before he reviewed down this figure in January to 5.3%. While figures for 2011 are likely to be out later this month, everyone is in agreement that the macroeconomic situation for last year were in many ways anti-growth. And under this environment, we see, we, we, we see growth averaging about 4 to 4.5% uh, for the year. Uh, the shilling, yes, strong trading in terms of 82, 83s. Uh, is this sustainable? We say it depends on what's going to happen to the Monetary Policy Committee. Kenya's imports are proving to be problematic, with the current account deficit at minus 10%, which is even larger than that of Greece. The Monetary Policy Committee uh, and the actions that are implemented by the central bank have taken center stage most of 2011 and will continue to do so as we move along in 2012. To cushion the economy, Kenya needs to up its export base, cut unnecessary expenditures and increase investment in infrastructure and green energy to curb reliance on the expensive thermal power. Agricultural production is expected to be below than average owing to poor rainfall which is likely to fund inflation. To help reduce the damage, Pinebridge says the government needs to address supply chain constraints and invest more on the country's food reserves. O'Brien commanded the business at nine.